In this video, we learn how to draw Lewis dot structures. Now, it's always a great idea to set up a game plan or a plan of strategy when drawing any type of Lewis dot structure. So, the rules are, first, the least electronegative element goes in the center. Now remember, in terms of electronegativity, here's our periodic table, electronegativity increases across any period or row going from left to right. So as we go this way, electronegativity increases. And as we go up any group, it also increases. And remember, the most electronegative element on the periodic table is fluorine itself. So we know that fluorine will never go in the center because it's the least electronegative element that goes in the center. Now, besides fluorine, hydrogen also never goes in the center. That's because hydrogen has one valence electron and it only needs one more to become just like helium. If it were in the center, it would be grabbing on to too many electrons, it would be sharing too many electrons and go beyond what it needs. Both never go in the center and both only make one bond. Next, the number of valence electrons equals your group number. So if you have an element in group 5A, it has five valence electrons. 7A, it has seven valence electrons. Now carbon must make four bonds. That's because it's four spaces away from being a noble gas whichever direction you go, whether it loses four electrons to become just like helium or gains four electrons to become like neon, four is its magic number. Now, there are rare occasions where it's going to make three. In those rare occasions, that's when carbon itself has a charge. It's either positively charged or negatively charged. Um, we usually don't see too many examples of that. So for the most part, we'll be seeing compounds with a neutral carbon, and therefore it has to make four bonds. Nitrogen, it's in group 5A, so it's three spaces away from being a noble gas. That's why it likes to ideally make three bonds. By making those three bonds, it gets to share three extra electrons to become just like a noble gas. But the word likes is different from the word must. Whereas carbon, for the most part, in many of the examples you're going to see is making four bonds, likes means that it could make three if that can happen but it can also make different number of bonds. Here, three is its sweet spot, its magic number, but it could also make just two bonds, or it can make up to four bonds. Oxygen, oxygen is two spaces away from being a noble gas, so it ideally wants to make two bonds. But again, the word likes means it could also make other number of bonds. It could make one less than that, so it can make one bond, or it can go up to three bonds. As we draw numerous types of Lewis dot structures, you'll be able to see the patterns, and it'll become that much easier to draw them. Now, halogens, which are in group 7A, uh, when not in the center, so if they're a surrounding element, they only make one bond. Fluorine, of course, will never go in the center, so of course it's always going to make one bond as a surrounding element. Then finally, we have the expanded valence shell theory. Basically, this means that we have nonmetals starting from period three or row three to seven can have more than eight electrons around them when in the center. So they go beyond the octet rule in terms of drawing Lewis dot structures. These are the key rules you need to keep in mind when drawing any type of Lewis dot structure. If you're still confused, move on and take a look at our um, questions dealing with drawing Lewis dot structures. Make sure you take a look at our chapter videos as well.